In just under 15 minutes, I'm going to be covering directional stimulus prompting. You may also see this out in the wild as DSP. With this form of prompting, you essentially help guide your large language model to an answer. Uh, because of that, this is very good for text summarization. Now, with the guidance side of things, there's two ways to really utilize this at the moment. Uh, the first way is to provide a hint. This hint could be like a sentence on what specifically you want to see in your summarization. The other way you could utilize this is through specific keywords, you know, highlights of an article that you want to see covered uh, through the summary. So essentially a breakdown of this prompt, you have your input, then you have your hints or keywords, you have your large language model, and at the very end, you have your output. Uh, this video is going to cover both chat GPT as well as Python and LinkChain. So that way, if you don't know how to code, there's an example for you. With that out of the way, uh, let's take a look at our first example, which utilizes chat GPT. All right. So we're going to start with our chat GPT example. What we're going to do is we're going to summarize an article. Now the article I'm going to summarize is from this really great website, baseball cards. It's called pre-war cards. And it talks about a baseball card, a T205 Christy Mathewson error. And I extracted some of the text over here. So uh, the article, essentially, I started with over here. The Matthewson is rare. So I ended right over here. And I'm going to feed that specifically to ChatGPT. So here's how I'm going to do this. Our prompt is going to look like this. First, the very top, I have article. And I fed it all this information on this article. Okay. And what I'm going to do is we're going to ask our question. I'm going to define our question with a Q like this Q colon. And I'm going to say summarize the above article briefly. Briefly in three to five sentences based on the hint. And what we're going to do is we're going to provide a hint. So for adding additional context and my hint that I'm going to give our model is we're going to say error card is much more valuable, valuable and has one loss different back. Okay. So what we have is we have this article that we want to summarize and we have our question that we want to send in, right? Which is essentially summarize the above article briefly in three to five sentences, which I misspelled sentences. That's okay. Based on the hint. And then the hint I'm providing is error card is much more valuable. Also misspelled valuable, but that's all right. It has one loss different back. And just some information I know this card has a cycle back, which most don't have and has one loss here instead of 11. So let's run that and see what happens. So here we go. The whole article, it says, the article discusses the rarity and value of a specific error card of baseball player Christy Mathewson from the 1911 T205 set. While Mathewson's regular card is already highly priced, and that's true, I've owned one of those regular ones, the error card, which mistakenly credits him with a 37 and one record instead of the accurate 37 11, is even more valuable. This error is only found in cards with the rarer cycle brand cigarettes back. The exact cause of the error is unknown, but the most accepted theory is a simple typo. So all of this text right here says that, and we just summarized that in just a few sentences. So with this GPT example, remember, ask to summarize an article, right? Summarize it how you want. In this example, I said three to five sentences, and then I provided a hint. And the hint was essentially what this card is about reads us over and gives us the summary. So now let's take a look at our example with LangChain. And if you don't know LangChain, no big deal. You can still use this example in chat GPT and all the source code as well as the two prompts that I'm using today are going to be on my website. So make sure to click the link down below in the description. Can't promise this article will be out as soon as the video drops, but I will try my best to get it out as soon as possible. All right, let's start coding in Google Colab. All right, so first thing we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to pip install. So 
I'm gonna pip install langchain. Pip install open AI. And we're gonna pip install langchain open AI. Now this will take a minute or so, but I'm gonna run this and I will see you guys in the future. Okay, so now what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to bring in our imports. So from langchain open AI import open AI from a link chain dot prompts view shot import view shot prompt oops I accidentally press enter but templates uh, then we're gonna say from link chain dot prompts dot prompt import prompt templates and lastly from link chain open ai import chat open ai i believe that's everything that we should be using in this video and if we need others uh we can import them in all right uh the other thing is we're going to bring in our open ai api key also we have to import os uh, but i'm going to say environment variable so os.environ and then inside over here open ai underscore api underscore key and uh, we're going to see that's equal to and you're going to input your open ai api key if you're learning prompting for the first time with python grab your open ai api key on their website it's paid but i promise you like it's gonna be like less than a penny or something like that for this video so not much um your API key should start with like SK dash. I'm going to paste mine in. I'm going to run the cell and uh, we'll see you in the future. Awesome. So now that we have our API key in here, uh, let's build out our large language model. So we're going to say LM equals chat open AI and set our model. So model equals, and I'm going to use GPT 3.5 turbo. So GPT 3.5 turbo like this. And I'm going to set my temperature to zero. So that way we don't get any really weird results. Okay, we have that over here. And the first thing we're going to do, since we're going to be using a few shot prompt, is provide it an example. Now, the example that I'm going to be using was utilized in the paper about DSP prompting. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm just going to grab this example and show you guys. So we have an article over here. And this is an article about South Korea's prime minister. The keywords associated with it is re resignation, tycoon, right? Investigation and uh, resign, right? Et cetera for fraud and bribery. Okay. So we have the article over here, right? We're probably in the article. We have the keywords here. Okay. And then we have a summary here. And this is the summary of that article. So that's the example we're going to be using for this few shot prompt. And uh, well, technically this is a one shot prompt because I only provide it one example, but if you use multiple examples and you expand this out, then it could be considered a few shot prompt. So what we're gonna do now is build out our example prompt through a prompt template. So that way we templatize it and can reuse it pretty easily. So we're gonna say is our example prompt and we're gonna say equal to a prompt template. So prompt template like this. And then we're going to use input variables. So input variables equal, and there's a few different variables. So if you look above, right, we had article, we had keywords, and we had summary. So those are the three that we will be using. So let's go over here, grab article, then we're going to grab our keywords, then we're going to grab our summary, right? And then we're going to now create our template. So templates equals, and we're going to put three double quotes and we're going to say article and to put your variable you use these squigglies brackets and put article in here so article like this and then we'll have our question and what i'm going to just grab what i uh prepped so our question write a short summary of the article in two to four sentences that accurately incorporates the provided keywords then we're going to have our keywords so keywords right and this is going to be what we bring in. 
So keywords as well. And then our answer is gonna be the summary. So just put summary over here, and summary like that. Put your three and then boom, we're done with our example prompt. And I do have an error. So let me just double check why. Oh, it's input variable, it's not input variable. And I still have an error. Make sure you have double quotes on your input variables, not single quotes like I had. And that was the reason for the error. Okay, uh, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna use a one shot prompt. So one shot prompt equals, and technically the template name we're using is a few shot prompt template, uh, but uh, we'll be cutting out a one shot prompt. Okay, So what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up our examples. So examples, equals example, right? And uh, what we're gonna do next is we're gonna have our example prompt. And by the way, that's this example here, right? Then we have our example prompt, which we built out. So say that, so example prompt equals example prompts. I guess we should make the spacing consistent for readability. And then what we're gonna say is suffix equals three on here. And uh, essentially what we're gonna do is we're gonna just copy this over. I don't wanna type this out again. So we have our article, which is our input, right? Our question, write a short summary, keywords, which are the keywords that we're gonna supply. And we have our answer, input variables, our input and keywords, okay? Run that. And now let's build out our article and keywords. So first thing that we're gonna do is our article. Now I grabbed this article from, I believe Wikipedia and essentially it talks about a band I've never seen live, but I really want to, which is them Cricket Vultures, the Foo Fighters, Queens of the Stone Age and Led Zeppelin in a band. It's awesome. Uh, if you're not familiar with them and you like those music, those bands, check them out. But regardless, it talks about them Cricket Vultures and we're gonna summarize this. So have that as our article, then we have to set up our keywords. So I'm gonna say keywords equals, and let's bring in the keywords that I have over here. So the keywords I have are Dave Grohl, John Paul Jones, Josh Homie, and then also Super Group. So ran the keywords over here. And just to show you guys what this prompt looks like, we can set up something called a formatted prompt. So formatted prompt equals one shot prompts, got formats. Our input is gonna be the article, so equals article, and then keywords equals keywords, like that. Awesome, and uh, let's essentially print this out. So print out our formatted prompt, and you can see I have the article from above, right? Question, keywords, answer. Then we have the article that we want to summarize from Cricket Vultures, question, right, keywords. And then we don't have an answer because we need to send this to our large language model. So all we have to do is create a response. And I'm going to say response equals lm.invoke. And you've just put your formatted prompt in here. So formatted prompt like that. And it might take a second or so. Awesome. And let's print this out. So print, and we're going to print the response.content. Response.content. And then Crooked Vultures American Rock Supergroup. And it tells you even more information. So consisting of, let's just read it through, right? Them Crooked Vultures is an American rock supergroup formed in 2009, consisting of musicians Josh Homme, and John Ball Jones, and Dave Grohl. Ben released their self-titled debut album in 2009, which received critical acclaim and won a Grammy Award. Their hiatus, the group reunited in 2022 for a tribute performance in honor of Foo Fighters late drummer, Taylor Hawkins. And you can see we have all this text over here, right? Lots and lots of text. So that is it, but let's do a quick recap. Uh, there's two different ways that you could implement directional stimulus prompting. Uh, the first way I showed you guys is with a hint. And essentially we put our question over here, right? Summarize the article, which is not te technically a question, but just for the formatting, right? And we say hints, uh, the error card is much more valuable. So giving a little bit more context, like we wanna lead our model to giving us 
a summary based off of this hint. The other way that we provided a hint is through specific keywords. And you can try both to see what works best for you uh, based off of summarization. And uh, this one I gave Dave Grohl, John Paul Jones, Josh Homme, and also a super group. Also to mention, you can use this for zero, one, or few shot prompts. And for GPT, I use an example with a zero shot prompt, which means we give no examples. On here with Python and LangChain, I used a one shot prompt. And if you wanna make it a few shot prompt, you just give it multiple examples. So that's it for the video on directional stimulus prompting. Hope you guys found a ton of value. If you did, make sure to subscribe to the channel. I upload two to three videos every single week. By the way, if you want to learn even more about prompting techniques, AI, link chain, I have a full playlist down below in the description as well as some other videos, or you can click right here on the video.